Welcome back around to Vampire Survivors. Now, before we begin, I have to admit, I have to come clean, I have to confess, that I've played a bit of this game off camera, and I've gotten quite far. <laughs> but wait, look, okay, controls are working. So, <laughs> from last time, I've got all these and I think I got a really good grasp on the game so apparently wait how do I show collection apparently see I've gotten everything I'm insane so apparently weapons can upgrade but or only under certain conditions I didn't know this at the beginning as I was playing I looked it up and apparently there are certain passives that you take and then when you max that weapon, max its level up, it evolves into a better weapon. So for example, the whip, uh, if you max it and then get the, which one is it, the passive of the HP one? Which one is the HP one? This one, the hollow heart. Augments max health by 10%. So you only need one of this passive, this passive uh, buff or stat, power up or whatever you want to call it. And then max level whip turns into bloody tear. So it's an evolved whip. Uh, same with all the other weapons. Although some weapons don't upgrade yet. They might do that in the future. And it's kind of crazy, I'll be honest. And I think I mentioned this in the last video. I can't remember exactly the last time I played when I recorded that gameplay. But garlic is insanely strong. Not in on, not only in super auto pets, also in this game. <laughs> garlic is is like just if you get garlic in early game, if you especially if you play what's his, this guy's name? Poe. I've got all the characters as well. So Poe starts with garlic, but he has permanently reduced health. And Garlic is just so good. The first, at least, let's say, five to ten minutes, you just like demolish people. You get levels like it's nothing. So, yeah, garlic, garlic is really strong early on. And you know what? We'll actually show this. We'll showcase this. Uh, we also have hyper mode. So once you finish, uh, oh, this is another thing I didn't mention before. Apparently. You can only survive to a maximum of 30 minutes. And once you reach those 30 minutes, this uh, Reaper comes out and kills you. You can't, you, have nothing, you can't do anything about it. Some people I've seen on Reddit have figured out some ways to like stop it from killing you or like finding certain spots that stop the Reaper from catching you or some, some of that stuff. But realistically... The max you can survive is 30 minutes. Once you finish that, on each of these levels, you get hyper mode, which is like super fast. I think it's like maybe double the speed. I don't really know, but it's pretty hyper. So we'll do that. And we'll go with library. So you can see this chaos. Wait. Audio is pretty low. Oh, because I have it low. Okay, this is good, I think. This is good, right? Ooh, ooh. It's going hard, it's going hard. Okay, maybe maybe not too loud. Okay. Um let's go. So look at this. This is ridiculous. Okay, maybe the audio is a bit too loud. Let's do fire wand. Okay, maybe the audio is a bit too loud. We'll do it. I think this is decent, right? So let's avoid this. Which okay, see, so we just walk through them because we have garlic. And, and we'll go magic wand. So I believe I got a really good grasp of the game now. And it's like a let's go spinach. So this is the thing, we have fire wand. Fire wand upgrades with spinach. For some reason. So we want to go that with weapons that are strong and that have evolved variants, let's say. So as I was saying, garlic is so strong early on because 
can just walk through them, and as you walk through them, you get the uh, the little XP orbs. We'll do garlic level two. So we're just gonna literally just gonna walk through them, gain XP, and just move to the next next uh, wave. Get early levels. So this is this is different from last time. Last time it was. <laughs> Thinking things out. Okay, we'll do garlic again. Sure. So garlic. Uh, I don't. I don't remember if last time I could upgrade garlic, but they patched in a uh, passive power up that makes you upgrade the garlic. So now we are able to uh, compared to last time. I'm not sure if last time you could or not. Um. I actually really like the upgraded axe, and I'll show that whenever I get it. So I genuinely think the best upgrades for late game are probably Fire Wand and the axe. Those two are just like insane late game once you get them fully maxed. So the axe. I think you need the chandelier or something, chandelure or whatever it's called. The chandelure. Okay, thank God I caught it this time. Because I looked over, I saw that my, my mic wasn't being detected for a split second. And I got right on that. I'm gonna do the same mistake as that Plant vs. Zombies video. Anyway, what was I saying? I even forgot. Um. So yeah, late game, the, the fire wand and the axes are just insanely strong. Okay, so if you look at the top left, we have, I think, six slots for weapons and then six slots for passive power-ups. And we could either stick with what we have now or we could go with this uh, pigeon. I think it's like a play on word, the word pigeon. So the Pigeon is one unique weapon that needs another weapon to upgrade. So we have two slots. We can try to go for the Pigeon and its other variant. I think it's called... Uh, it's a Black Pigeon. Who knew? I forgot the, the name of it. But we can try to go for that, which is also kind of crazy. But it's kind of... Let's just say it's kind of whack early on. But leg game is insane. So... You know what? We'll go for it. So, the Pigeon, we'll just call it Pigeons, or we can just call it Pichon. The Pichon is, so you see this very faint circle that uh, rotates around my character? So it shoots everything within that, or it it's directs its shots towards that circle. It's kind of weird, and early on it's, it's not that great, honestly. But late game it's, uh, it's kind of bananas. We'll get to that. Okay, so we see up up there. That's one of the passive uh, power ups, and it increases gold income. But if we take it, it takes up a slot. Oh no! Oh, actually, so the what's it called? What's the blue wand called? Oh, damn, I forgot. We'll just call it the wand, the magic wand. Upgrades with empty tome. So with empty tome here. So something that's Right, we're make, having a synergistic uh, setup or weapon layout, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, whenever we fill those six slots with passive power-ups, then we'll go for that uh, item up there, and it'll count as a seventh passive power-up instead of max and capping at six. We want a pichon. Pichon. <laughs> Anyway, so we want to stick with what we have right now and potentially find the power, the passive power-ups for all our other weapons. So right now we have two passive power-ups, the spinach and the empty tome. But we're going, I guess, we'll go with the axe because I really like the axe upgrade whenever we get it. Um, so we have spinach that buffs with... Uh, buffs our fire wand whenever it evolves. Wait, can we 
Okay, these guys we need to just play a bit around. So I was saying the spinach evolves with our fire wand. Our empty tomb evolves with our magic wand. I figured out a way to skip this, this annoying animation. I mean, it's exciting the first time, but then it gets really boring. A little spinach. So I was saying empty tome upgrades with our magic wand. Spinach with our fire wand. Now we're looking for the chandelier. And the... I don't know how what they call it, or how it's spelled, or how it's pronounced, I mean. But it's basically health regen. We need that passive power up. And I keep looking at our items so I remember what we need. Okay, let's we'll go with X. We need Chandelure, the passive health regen, and and the other bird as a weapon. So we just need two more pass passive power ups, and the other uh, Pichon, and then we'll be good as gold. Okay, okay, this is I'm talking about augments area of attacks by ten percent. The Chandelure, the, what the heck? Chandelabrador, Labrador. Chandelabrador, okay, whatever. We'll just call it Chandelier. A Chandelabrador, Jesus. That's uh, kind of hard on my tongue. Chandelabrador. <laughs> I mean, some of these names are ridiculous. I mean, come on. Pichon. Pichon. Okay, so we'll go for the more area. So our garlic area becomes. Uh, much more, much more area. <laughs> it's much bigger, let's just say. Covers a wider area. Now our levels are just kind of slowing down a bit. Okay, this is the other thing. The Pomarola. Pomarola? Pomarola? Poma. The Puma. What was called the Puma? The Pumarola. Corolla. <laughs> so now we're, we got, yeah, we got all our passes for the weapons that we need. Now we're looking for the other Pichon, the Pigeon, and then we'll have, we'll eventually have all our weapons. Oh, see, we got everything we need. The Ebony Wings, that's the, the Pichon's partner, or significant other, let's call it. So... The Pichon, see, it, it, it circulates in the opposite direction as its uh, significant other. So they're going opposite from each other. And when they're both fully maxed, uh, they're combined together. <clears throat> we'll do Chandelabrador, whatever it's called. Ooh, let's go. Let's, let's, let's get rid of this, skip it quick. We're doing speed run. Uh, also, I don't know if you guys realized, but this is on hyper mode. I think. Pretty sure I put on hyper mode, so everything is like uh, sped up compared to normal. So you really get the action packed. You, you really feel. Uh, you really feel like Batman. <laughs> okay, bracer, bracer upgrade upgrades with knives. I think. So we'll pass on that. We'll go more X. We want to max our weapons quick so we can uh, evolve them. And this is gonna be crazy, man. Just wait for it. Let's not forget also, we forgot that. We almost forgot that passive item all the way back there. We can stick by it until we get uh, our passive power ups uh, fully. Uh, what am I even talking about? Fully uh, taken of all our slots, so we can add another uh, power up to us. Which is not really insane; it's just extra gold. I think we're really good in that area. We have all the gold we want. We got some good upgrades. Attract warp can be really good, actually, so we can pick up warps from further away. Although it doesn't really help with damage, but it helps with gaining uh, level ups. Not having to exactly go to them, but all the orbs are 
attracted towards you, which is great, honestly. Okay, that's good. We want weaker enemies, so we can... Okay, this, this witch does a lot of damage, so we gotta just be careful around here. Especially since we're Poe, he has uh, less HP than normal. Whoa, that was close. She came out of nowhere. This, these witches are uh, kind of freaking me out. Push them away. <laughs> it's like I'm running from no one. I'm on whenever I see your witch, I just go in the opposite direction. That's all you have to do. <laughs> okay, we're not as strong as we want to be. So we need to get all these orbs. What do we want? Magic wand? Pichon? We'll go magic wand. There's a stronger early on. Okay, I took some un unnecessary damage there. What do we really want as our last passive uh, power up? Okay, we're, we're back to the the mask, the coin mask thing. So right now we're just chilling, honestly. We got everything under control. Garlic, these enemies are quite weak as well, so we're just mowing them down. Going, going for, uh, for some XP, level ups. Spin, more damage. I remember the first time I was like, what the heck is spinning? What, what does inflict inflicted damage mean? I was so confused. But now I'm older and wiser. More mature. <laughs> I know more about the game. I've grown up a bit. Every day, every second, every moment of real life, you grow up just a little bit more. And I understand a bit more. Oh, oh, we're just mowing them, mowing them down anyway. Uh, Spellbinder levels up, evolves with uh, the holy book. What's it called? I forgot the name of it. Uh, King Bible, I think it's called. And some of the names of these weapons are weird. King Bible, Santa Water. I know. Santa just throws his water at you. Uh, let's go with. One extra projectile for their wand. So I think the spinach and the garlic together are really giving us the damage we need to just walk through these hordes of enemies. And that's really nice because as we walk through them, uh, let's go with the garlic. As we walk through them, we're just like pulling. Woo, I forgot about this power up. It's pretty insane. You just like demolish anyone in front of you. We'll go with X. Okay, let's go for all these stuff. These XP gems. So that's a recent thing that they added as well, which is let's go for this again. Uh, it's like a power up where you just like breathe fire and just like destroy everything in front of you, which is pretty sick as well. Magic wand. We'll stick to everything we have. <sighs> Move away. She does a ton of damage, so that's why she's very scary to uh, deal with. So anything to hit her, push her away is great for us. Oh. Okay, I took on a serious damage for spinach. Spinach, I meant garlic. So we're one level away from maxing our garlic. So we want to try to do that now. And next chest we get, the next chest we'll get will be an upgrade. And since garlic is our only maxed weapon, that's going to be our only upgraded weapon. So we have the chest here, but we need one more level on our garlic. Which we we hopefully on the next upgrade will achieve. Ooh, there we go. Okay, I was like, where's the garlic? I was about to three as well. This is nice. This is really good. Gets us closer to without other things. 
So, level up garlic. Look at this. Soul Eater. Evolved garlic. Steals hearts. Thanks for skipping. Are you going to even make me finish my sentence? So, I think this is like massive. And it also he very slightly heals me. Which is uh, pretty cool, honestly. So, this is. I mean, we're almost at. The level we want to be duplicator. Duplicate can be really good here. And you know what? We'll go for it. Because it shoots one extra projectile for every projectile you're shooting. So our fireballs, our pitch hones, our uh, adm admittedly our garlic doesn't benefit from it at all. But everything else benefits from it. Our magic wand, our fire wand, our axes. So we're in a good spot I would say. So, we, see, we've maxed everything on our... Oh, sorry, I just covered in front of you. Everything up there in the top left is maxed. So, we have all our slots full. So, they're only going to give us upgrades of things we have. Now, if we go get that mask for the coin buff, it will give us a seventh slot, which we will do right now. And we will go with cooldown reduction, so we shoot our projectiles faster. I don't understand why they didn't just call it uh, attack speed up, but it is what it is. So we want to go find that uh, passive power up the mask. We've got Batman over here, see? Now, get it, if you look at the top left, oh, we have a 7th slot. And that's really good for us. Instead of taking it early on and it taking up a slot. So we got our max items and then we took it. So it, basically it's effect coins value increased by 10%, which is fine, it isn't amazing. We'll go for more damage. So if we pause and you look at the top left, you see these uh, little s light up squares. That's the amount we have for the stuff. So spinach at max level. We want to go for the axe next because it's the closest to the level. So we'll go for Axe whenever we see it. So we get it uh, leveled up. Axe is pretty sick, honestly, whenever you get it. And honestly, King Bible is probably okay. No Axe. We'll go for Fire Wand, get it closer to the level. Uh, I was gonna say King Bible is actually probably better than Garlic. But, compared to early game, Garlic is just way stronger. Because it just gives you that freedom to just like walk through hordes. Holy shit, just so, so much damage. We'll do one more projectile. So... We need to steal lives, give me some lives. It's only healing me one. That's fine. Okay, that's a boss. We still don't have an upgraded X. He's gonna drop a chest for us. But we want to get the axe leveled up to 8. Still no axe. Okay, we'll do magic wand then, because if you look at magic wand, it says the same as axe right now. So either either one of them could be great for us. So what was I saying? I was saying something. Yeah, uh, Garg just gives you the freedom in the early game to just walk into hordes and get all this XP for free. But late game, King Bible is way stronger because it pushes enemies away. Ooh, X or Magic Wand? We'll go X. I just really like X. Oh, didn't find a drop chest. Okay, just gave us a red orb or red gem. So King Bible, yeah, I was saying King Bible is way stronger late game. But the, the power Garl gives you early game is just too strong to ignore. So it's and if you go for bo both, they kind of they contradict each other's effects because one wants them to get closer so you can uh, kill them, absorb HP and whatever. King Bible basically does damage and pushes them, pushes enemies away. So in some cases they do work if the enemies are strong. They can withstand uh, Axe Max. Okay, now next chest we get is going to be our Axe leveled up, so that's going to be great. So I was saying in some cases they can work together. But 
You generally don't want to go for those two things together. We'll go for a fire wand. Ooh, we want to try to max our weapons first. Ooh, okay, let's try to get this chest. Because it's going to give us the max. Look at this. Uh, a scythe. Death spell. Evolved X. Passes through enemies. Look at this. Let's give it a second. <laughs> Look at the X. It's like when a British guy says ask. X, bro. Don't I can't be axed. Go we'll magic wand. Now we, we've got the, the fire breathing uh, uh, power up. Oh, this as well is great. Uh, fire wand. No, we'll go magic wand. So it upgrades. So now already just two weapons upgraded. War at an insane level. We'll try to max fire wand. It's gonna be insane. We're only 15 minutes into this run. That's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be bananas. Fire wand. One more will be max. Fire wand turns into fire skulls or something like that. So, and I think the strongest weapon in the game is probably the fire wand. When it's upgraded, the fire skulls, which is Admittedly insanely strong. Okay, all passive. Passive buffs, so we'll go with that uh, tracked orb. So I can track things from further away. Max fire wand. Next chest we get is probably this uh, boss right here. We'll upgrade our fire wand. Wait, do we have magic wand and fire wand max? So we can get either of them. Let's upgrade Shanda Labrador. Shanda Labrador. I don't know how the hell to say it. How the hell we say it? Okay. We got the, the fire wand evolved. So, evolved fire wand passes through enemies. So, this pet also passes through enemies. Look at this. Look at this. It goes to the end of the earth. So, we're at an insane level now. We'll, we'll continue to upgrade our uh, weapons. Now, the, the the pigeon the two of the pigeons when you upgrade them to max they then evolve on the next chest you get and then because they're two weapons they become one they up they open up a slot so we can still get something late game we could probably get the pentagram which would be pretty cool the one uh, thing uh, the one complaint I have about the pentagram is it kills everything on screen but it doesn't drop any XP for you. And I guess it's it's kind of that's the trade-off for it, but at the same time, you really want the XP. Okay, so we got an upgraded magic wand, fires with no delay. So now, no joke, if I sit in one spot, nobody can kill me. But we want to move around to get the the XP. Okay, I took a bit of damage. I was being a bit cocky, and I deserve that, honestly. <laughs> <clears throat> but we're set, man. Look at this. Now we just need to upgrade our, our pachons. Our pigeons. And we'll be... Let's upgrade them equally. Both the same level. So we can just like upgrade them or evolve them together. Once we max them. We'll, we'll, we'll scale wide instead of high. Look at this, this is just like crazy. This is on hyper mode too, so we're just like, nothing can stop us at this point. And honestly, garlic is kind of useless at this point, because we have uh, these scythes being thrown out on these fireballs, just like destroying everything in, in our path. Look at this, this is, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> I know that you can probably leave the controller for real. Not like last time I was being a bit cocky. On this time, nothing can pass through me. And and when I max the Pichon as well, they're gonna be insanely strong late game because they also are pretty ri ridiculous, honestly. Okay, so our, we got our Pichon to level six. Kind of getting sick of calling it Pichon. But it is called the Pichon, so... 
the chown me. Hey, the enemies, the number of enemies have went down just a bit. I want, really want to kill this boss up down here. And die. Come on, man. Holy, oh, just flew away. There we go. Okay, only one upgrade. That's fine. We got a what's it called? Empty tome. Uh, I guess it's tracked orb. To pull in more orbs. Look at this. That's great. That looks beautiful. We're at an insane level right now. We're only 20 minutes in, which is admittedly a lot. We still have uh, quite a ways in front of us. So we have. 11 minutes? It's gonna be quite a journey. We still haven't upgraded our, our pigeons. Our pigeons. So it's gonna be quite insane once we get there. As if it's not crazy right now. Look at these pigeons shooting. One is going down, one is going to up. It reaches a point in the game where there's so many things are happening. You sometimes can't keep up. So you kind of have to sit back and like look look at it at a wider angle. But yeah, it's, it's kind of insane. Look at these pigeons. Nobody's gonna come near me. Okay, we really want the XP, so we'll walk. Ebony wings. We need the ebony wings to. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry if that was quite loud. Probably should have muted it. I will do that next time. Sorry, sorry. So I was saying we need to upgrade our ebony wings to get the, the evolved. Come on, man, give me more ebony wings. We need three more. Um, yeah, we just need three more. And then we'll, we'll reach that point where we're just unstoppable. Okay, we really want to upgrade our. I don't think we will. There's this boss right here. I was thinking we'll upgrade it fast enough before killing this boss. But three is quite too much, honestly. Unless we get like insane hordes right now. Ebony wins. Two more levels. Two more levels. Give me two more levels. Can we do it? Okay, the boss keeps spawning in, in the opposite direction whenever we move away from it. Sorry, I had to call for a moment. But we're almost there. We need two more Ebony Wings. That's one. One more. We need one more, right? Yes. Before we kill this boss. We can probably kill him and then keep the chest for later. So that's exactly what I'm about to do. So we just need to level up. We don't really need this, honestly, because we're just too strong. And no joke, I think nothing can stop us at this point. We got another... Ebony Wings, maxed. Okay, now they're both maxed. Give me that upgraded Pichon. The van, the Vandalier. So let's go. Look at this. This rainbow shooting bird. And it shoots from both sides now. So it's kind of bananas. I mean, it's, there's so many things going on at once, it's kind of hard to see it. But you can see the circles going around. They're very faint. But they're pretty strong. So I don't think anything can stop us right now at this point. And if you look at the top left, we have one spot to freed up. So we can get another weapon now. And honestly, there's nothing that would help us here. So we'll go for coin value. Maybe we'll find the pentagram. And that would be probably optimal. But we'll see, I suppose. We're eight minutes away from uh, reaching the max amount we can survive. Max amount of time. So uh, no joke, I can just sit here and do nothing. And I have tried this before, sitting doing nothing. 
legit no no joke i opened my phone and i was like let's see how long it can last and it lasted to the very end with this exact exact setup let's go for that chest <clears throat> yeah it's fine we're just too strong nothing can stop us right now look at this this is do we go across no we'll pass on the cross we really want to see a pentagram, that would be like the best last item to get. Last weapon, let's say. I should say. Yeah, there's actually, there, we can also, one thing, we've got top left, we can upgrade our Vandalier, our Pichon, upgraded Pichon, can also still upgrade it, which is kind of insane. So even though it's two weapons upgraded, and it upgrades it specifically, combines and vault to something else you can also upgrade it upgrade the upgrade itself i've said upgrade i don't know how many times and the surprising thing is still haven't it hasn't given us the option to upgrade it but look at us look at us what does he say then i forgot <laughs> Look at us, look at us. Who would have thought? Not me. Okay, anyway. Give me that Vandalier, man. Come on. Stone Mask. Maybe once we upgrade everything. And then it gives us the option. I don't remember. But we're way too strong, man. Look at this. Look at this. Who would have thought? No. <laughs> Okay, it, it, it flowed more smoothly that time, that time to the first time. These enemies should be like really hard to kill, but we're just like walking right through them like as if they were at the beginning of the game. We can actually go for this, and I didn't understand it the first time I read it, or when I, when I got it, or whatever you want to say. But it actually shields me from any damage I take, and it gives us a few seconds. Actually, no, we'll just go for that. We still want the pentagram. The pentagram's kind of cool. Okay, look at this. Okay, this is going to be insane. These enemies are supposed to be, like, really hard to get through. And we're just standing in our place. Just in our spot. Slowly but surely, the, the magic one's pushing it away. The fire one. Uh, pentagram. Okay, look at this. As soon as we get it, it activates. Goodbye, everything. Oh, they just came back. But, uh, but yeah, the, the pentagram randomly activates at random times. But it also activates once you upgrade it or get it. But we, we're really at... We don't need any of that, of that help, to be honest. There we go, the Vandalier. Base area up by 20%. <clears throat> so we're chilling now. Let's move a bit forward, try to get more uh, gems. Go the opposite side. Okay, we need to tread very lightly because we're being a bit cocky, I'll be honest. So we need to. Because, yeah, we are insanely strong. Ooh, that's a boss. We ba I barely. I barely noticed, because I think last time, this is what killed me. Because I was being cocky, and then this guy came in, and he was like, Oh, you want to wanna be that guy, huh? And he just like, shadow over me. So, we gotta just keep our eyes open. There we go, he's, he's gone. Let's go for the uh, chest. Ooh, three items, nice, nice. Pentagram, pentagram, and then a tiny heart. Let's go. We're five minutes away. Actually, four minutes and uh, 20 seconds, 23 seconds. But we'll, we'll make it without. We'll make it. It's just like a walk in the park, honestly. At this point, this game is just like. It's literally one of those games, what do you call them? Where you just sit and do nothing. AFK games. It's one of those AFK uh, just watch. The chaos happen around you. Get this. I'll, I'll, I'll literally. But, okay, let me just upgrade. 
Okay, look at this. I'm not even holding the controller. Nothing, nothing can pass through me. And these are, at this point, are all like bosses. Oh, that pentagram was sick. And honestly, I kind of want to go for the XP, so it's just like move, just touch, and go to the other side. Got this pichon damage. And it's kind of ridiculous that this whole video is just this, this one run. But I think it's quite worth it. The satisfying factor is definitely there. Seeing those damage numbers, oh, oh, it's, a, it's like a sip of milk. <laughs> that was a gold pentagram. Look at how they spawned, that was crazy. We're, look at this. Okay, they're, they're getting quite, they're becoming quite a lot, but they still can't pass through us. Okay, I think we maxed our Pachon, our upgraded uh, bandolier. We have four more upgrades on our pentagram. So a pentagram is just like an extra line of safety, even though I don't really need it, to be honest. Because look at this. That's just kind of satisfying. And this is... Oh, look at that. Pichon damage. Look at that pichon damage. Look at this. That's... That's quite something. So we're 2 minutes and 15 seconds away from reaching the very end. And honestly, I don't think anything can, can beat us at this point. There's nothing <clears throat> that can walk through us. <clears throat> Give me a second. <clears throat> okay, I had something in my throat. But this is the run, man. Kind of, I kind of feel bad because I should have recorded the journey as I, I learned everything. Because at this point, I got all the knowledge, and I'm insanely like, strong. Look at that damage. So, but you know what? It is very satisfying to look at. And the journey was quite hard, honestly. Like, learning all the... Okay, at this point, we're just getting extra gold from our level ups. So, the journey was quite hard. I really had some pretty sad endings. Look at the pentagram! I mean, those upgrades. Look at those damage numbers. There's just something about it that is just like very, very satisfying. It's quite loud, isn't it? Or is it just me? I'll get the. Yeah, I think it's fine actually. But uh, yeah, the journey was quite uh, something to behold. But I really wanted. Yeah, those uh, red witches are kind of scary. This is getting... Okay, that was necessary, I would say. This is... Okay. The bit rate... My... Okay, those witches are kind of scaring me also. Yeah, but they're getting close. This might be one of the uses of King Bible. Pushing these red witches away. But we're 25, 20, 10, 22 seconds away from ending this run and man this is kind of insane we're at 109 we're at level 109 pentagram it we're seven seconds away five seconds the game is coming quite slow now. run away from the reaper oh he got us that was quite a run. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I could have 
recorded my journey as I look at this damage. Sorry, give me a second. Pentagram did 5.3 damage, overall damage, and only lasted for five minutes, almost six minutes. That's crazy. The Vandalier did eight, 3.8. Uh, Hellfire, the Fire Wand is insane. Did 3.9 million. That's insane, man. Anyway, as I was saying, would have been kind of nice to record the journey I went on to learn all of this to become an insane Vampire Survivors pro player. Come at me, bro. <laughs> But, uh, hopefully as they add more stuff, I'll probably record more stuff. Unless you just like this usual run of me winning with nothing stopping me. I'll do more of this, but I don't think it's actually uh, very enjoyable to watch. Because it's like repetitive, I would say. Unless there's more stuff or can sp experiment with different weapons. But, um... I'll probably play and record more and post more of this content once they add more stuff. I can try to play with different characters, but I really would appreciate if you let me know what would be nice to watch regarding this game. So let me know about that. We'll do... Chance to get lucky goes up by 10%. Who cares? We're way ahead. Look at this. Because I, I put nothing into, like, survivability, but everything into, like, damage. We'll do... Ex so we get more experience. Oh, we can't even... The next upgrade is six, 6k, which is insane. Everything's kind of expensive at the po this point. Uh, recovery doesn't matter. Uh, maybe max health would help. But I think I want to go for growth, so we get... We get those fast levels. But for now... Thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.